we get set for basketball on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon in Miami. Rodney Miller Jr. to jump it up against Kevin Marfo. And the Bobcats come down with the first possession today. Uh, they're going to go four out, one in, and they're going to look to score at the rim or long range. And they get right at the rim on there. Boy, that's a nice move underneath by Kevin Amarfo, the junior forward, PFB. This is game number two. Miami's got three under their belt. Quinnipiac has one. But game two, I mean, it's Miami, but uh, should they be more comfortable? Nice move down low. For the investment they put in, in the offseason. Well, they've held Miami scoreless for the first two and a half minutes of change. Disregard. Days ago, this is the second ever game between the Bobcats against an ACC opponent. Also the second ever meeting against the Miami Hurricanes. North of 14 and a half points per game. Touch under two rebounds through three games. Oh, thing pushed off a little bit. That jumper's good at 6-4. Hurricanes with a little tempo. And there's a steal. Here's Tyrese Williams on the other end. No foul. And he gets the bucket to go high off the glass. Good body control. Kelly dribbling and dribbling. Here's a steal by Warren Bird. He read it perfectly and he slams it home. They have got to hit shots if they're going to win this game. Oh, Warren Bird down low had an easy six footer. He was wide open. But at the top of the key, Chris Lake for three. Successful early on this season, but also making shots. He said, we've got to start hitting some more shots. Those are the two things that uh, I think kind of focus for Miami. That's a great shot in your seven footer. He's one of eight from deep. Put a Piac 0 for six. Yeah, combined one for 14. So uh, I think in that time, right to the rim. Balak, Lewis, Pinkney, Kelly, Ragoni. The five on the floor for Quinnipiac, and that three rattles home. He is amazing. But that time, three-point shooter, you got to have a hand up. That was right in his face. Dang gap underneath. Nice feed from Anthony Walker. On some long runs. And they can find rhythm threes. Even that was a decent look. Oh, Beverly underneath. Walker with the offensive rebound. Miami back out. Swung back out. Top of the key. Ragoni throws it away to Walker underneath a little sidestep. Didn't try to get too cute, lays it up for two. Miami's largest lead of the afternoon at six. Both teams ice cold from the floor. Neither team has shot the ball well from behind the arc. Here's an alley-oop underneath the tank. Oh, and Beverly split two defenders. Inside and underneath, Van Lewis throws it away. That just likes being active off the ball screen. Keeps it for himself. Gets the roll. Assists and five steals per game as a senior at Half Hollow Hills East High School. Three is up. It's good. Down four with under two minutes left to play in the first half. You probably take that. Well, you know what? They went to Brown and lost by two as McGusty has the nice kiss off the glass. Put a PX on that zone defense. Gack underneath. Boy, look at the long arms, but it's swatted away. Marfo with the block. 20 left on the game clock. 10 on the shot clock. Lewis on the wing goes up with the right hand. It's good. Nice offensive look for Quinnipiac. Four on the game clock. Likes right hand. It's good. Near the buzzer. Likes with the two down low in the paint. Left to right. And right back into that zone defense is Quinnipiac here to start the second half. Rodney Miller underneath. Short for Quinnipiac. They have struggled all afternoon. McGusty for three. Got it. A couple of them. You're right back into the ball game. Yeah. Here's Vasilovic for three. Top of the key. Yes. A quick timeout for Baker Dunleavy. We'll be back right after this. Excited to see him out here next year for the Hurricanes. Here's DJ Vasilovic with the right hand. With Missouri State. They win that game and everything plays out the way many would say it probably should. Oh boy. Hurricanes starting to run away with it now. There's a lid on the hoop for the Bobcats. Unimaginable how hard that is to try to compete in this conference with only seven scholarship players. And getting Keith Stone back, that's going to be big time for Miami too. Keep in mind too, in conference play this season, Actually, if you want to take it back, when Coach L first came to Miami, he just moved down low. First ACC game, I guess second, uh, will be at Clemson on December 31st. I see 
done. Down low by Savion Lewis out of Dix Hills, New York. He's going to look really good out there. Yeah. There's Harlan Beverly down low. Kicks it out. McGusty three. Yes. Here's Lewis down low. Whoa, look at that. In the second half, hence that 17-point advantage as we approach the 12-minute mark. And Harlan Beverly off the right side. Foul zone. Played 80 games during his four years when he was at Northwestern, a Wildcat. And a three in the corner for Harlan. Beverly is good. Breeze, his freshman year, which is second most ever by a freshman at Northwestern, but then got the injury bug and a new coach and just couldn't find his rhythm back in the programs. Here comes Lewis, quickly in transition, goes up with the right hand. Into the corner for Wong. Stops, likes, pops, hits it. Now you see the tie-up. You saw the tie-up there with two arms. Kelly hands it off the foul zone. Left baseline, boy, strong. Moved by Tyrese Williams. It was really nice to see him still get after the glass in that first half and now being able put some points up on the board as well. Well, let's see if he can add to that total today, and he does. Ball in his hands, he played a lot more, and so the percentage went down a little bit. Here's the three from the wing. Definitely some confidence behind the ball as well. Even in that first half when he was pretty cold, you saw oh. his teammates continue to go to him. As, speaking of confidence behind wow. the ball. The Oklahoma transfer is really starting to look good. We're, it's expected to do a little bit more of everything this year, not just score, but rebound and defend. There we go. Turning score in the ACC is just incredible. It's over 16 points a game. How about that? Year. Cam McGusty tried to get a little too cute on the inbounds pass and throw it off the back of the defender and then go up for an easy two. Arlen Beverly down with the rebound for Miami. Now McGusty in the paint, back up top, a three on the way. Got it. Rushed on the shot. I mean, outscoring Quinnipiac 41 21 in the half. Make it 41 to 24. Ooh, nice pass underneath in the flush yeah. by Kevin Marfo. The gusty for three, and it's good. I don't know what changed in the locker room at halftime. You know, Hurricanes they, have done a nice job here in the second half. They came out of the locker room and they were able to pick apart that zone right away and find the rim. Feeling good about yourself when you can see that ball go through the rim. Isaiah Wong will try a triple and that one's good. There we go. All right, Miami's going to have to shoot the basketball again with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Isaiah Wong's trying to do it himself and he does. Boy, that's pretty. Right on to it too. That's going to bring us to the conclusion of this afternoon's contest. Uh, between the Hurricanes, the Bobcats, and Amy quickly before we wrap things up. Any closing thoughts?